Hello everyone, this is Ron from High Tech Legion and this is the Arctic Cooling Accelero Hybrid Self-Contained Liquid Cooling Solution. Now we've checked out many self-contained kits previously, but this one is not meant for your CPU but actually for your video card. And the Accelero Hybrid is actually compatible with a wide range of video cards spanning all the way from uh, four generations ago. It's actually a quick list here on the bottom. I'm not going to read that uh, quickly but uh, it spans 4000 series all the way to, I've checked the latest version, it's actually on their website right now, Arctic's website, and it lists the yet to be released 8870. So uh, that is good to know that the Accelero Hybrid is that flexible that it actually is compatible with that. As you can see, it comes with a custom shroud, an 80 millimeter fan in there. It also comes with a radiator, it's a 120 millimeter radiator. And of course, it's gonna come with an active cooling fan. I'm not gonna read the rest of the box. I might as well just show you what is inside here so you can take a closer look at what is in store for you when you open this box. Each Accelero Hybrid package comes with the main unit, of course, and uh, for the various accessories, you get uh, here. Let's move out this uh, fan shroud. Let's see what it looks like there. Already has that 80 millimeter fan built into it, and of course, uh, there are some wires in there. For the, it is a PWM fan. Also, another fan input there that you'll connect. You can connect the pump and the uh, other fan later on. Assemble it. And inside the box, you get. Let's see here. Of course, the F12 PWM 120 millimeter fan. It has a braided cable, decently long cable there, and it has a four-pin PWM connector in one end. And you get the accessories. I just removed that at the bottom. It's actually taped to the box. That is a quite a strong tape. There you go. And uh, let me just put this aside and then take out the rest of it. And we'll go over that in detail later on. And I think that everything is zip tied here. This is essentially the uh, main pump unit with a radiator, the self contained part. And I'm twisting that, tied down, make sure we don't damage it while we're moving it. There we go. Again, let's put this aside. And here you have a documentation. It has, of course, a uh, illustrated manual to show you how to install on your video card, and also shows you the uh, accessories listed in there. Always make sure to check the accessories if you're getting everything in one the package when completed. Inside this box here, you get. An MX4 syringe. You get a PCIe high airflow bracket. And I'm assuming these, let me open this up, are the uh, heat sinks for the VRM area and the memory. These are various shapes and sizes, so you can uh, essentially fit it into most video card designs. There you go. See, these are aluminum, varying shapes and sizes. Put this aside. Let's see, one more package here. This is just a box. It is just a box. So, let's put this box aside now. And I'll show you the main unit first before we go into the accessories. And it is a 120 millimeter radiator. Here is the pump. If you've seen our self-contained liquid cooling solutions uh, review for a CPU, 
it is essentially it's the same design it has a carrier except there's no purified thermal paste there just like a glance at the copper base there it is it is not completely smooth there is actually a um, brushed aluminum or rather a brushed copper texture in there and it has that pump it's not very high profile it's also not the slimmest we've seen so far you have the hose which is quite flexible and uh, it's not the stiff rubber kind but it's actually the uh, stiff plastic kind but it's actually the uh, flexible rubber kind there and it has uh, to accommodate the various uh, mounting holes you see there's the different holes there and the connector it has a four pin PWM there but it's actually just a red and, and black two pin connector for the full 12 volt voltage because you, you always want the pump to be getting uh, to be working at the maximum flow so it has that 12 volt connector and the radiator here where you'll attach the 120 millimeter fan and see the standard 120 millimeter radiator so if you have a case and uh, some more space for the, a little bit of reservoir so if your your case can fit 120 millimeter fan most likely you will have room for the arctic cooling accelero hybrid uh, GPU heat sink and as for the components here let me just open this up show you what you're gonna get let's detail them the one you get an adapter you have a four pin molex adapter here to a essentially four pin pwm fan adapter for connecting it through uh, to your gpu fan and connectors 12 volts you also get this is a thermal paste uh, this is actually an adhesive, so it's not the same as a uh, thermal interface material that as you saw in the MX4. The MX4 is easily removable uh, when you apply it, uh, but the thermal adhesive that you see here, it is meant so that the uh, memory heat sinks or these uh, VRM heat sinks that you, you're going to attach onto the video card will be pretty much permanent so be careful when installing this later on make sure that you lay out your uh, video card and your uh, mounting of those uh, aluminum heat sinks first before you decide to apply those uh, thermal adhesives or you can also just use a, uh, a, a thin layer of thermal pads which you can uh, remove later on if you want to remove later on these are more screws and some washers installing and it's more screws here longer kinds and uh, there's two plates these are actually I believe these are for managing the two plates here are for managing your cables later on um, rather the tubes uh, so that you can attach it to the shroud unit without it uh, dangling in the way and that pretty much covers the accessory part here oh there you go actually I forgot this I have some more here in the lower left side you have some pads here insulation pads and rubber pads all kinds of pads essentially to prevent grounding when you're doing installation and different sizes to accommodate uh, the accommodate your insulation and also you get these fan screws you get this cable tie is a lone cable tie using for the tying the uh, tubes later on you get these five strips of transparent tape I'm not exactly sure what this is actually insulation tapes uh, I will of course check that out later once I show you how to install the accelero hybrid you also get this uh, paper guide for mounting on your GPU area mount the back plate properly and here is the metallic back plate as you can see it is metallic so you will definitely require some of those mounting pads so that it doesn't ground the back of your video card there you go and as you see my table is quite messy right now so the uh, I will make a video showing you the, how to install the Accelero Hybrid on a GTX 580 and I'll do that in a separate video for now I am going to uh, show you the specs full specs and compatibility and show you the benchmark results if you want to see the installation procedure in GTX 580 just click on the link below and then we'll jump on to the conclusion of my Accelero Hybrid experience
All right, there you have it. You can see the results that the difference between the reference design and the Accelero hybrid uh, cooling solution is definitely big in terms of uh, the, the gaps. We actually use a full tower case with lots of airflow, but if you have a mid tower, the gap might even be uh, larger. Uh, in terms of the stock difference, I think it was 25 degrees on load while uh, we do the overclock, it was about 20 degrees difference. So that is very good. The question is, is it worth it? Is it worth paying $180, which is actually $179.99, which is essentially $180 for an aftermarket cooling heat sink on top of paying for your video card? See, that is the dilemma right there because, for example, the GTX 580, which we tested, you can get a GTX 660 for that price after MIR and sales. Usually, you can get it for $180. A GTX 660 pretty much performs equivalent of a GTX 580 right now, but consumes less power. And the only drawback for that is that it uh, doesn't have as much memory bandwidth. But other than that, for $180, you can get a GTX 660, or should you get uh, additional cooling, better cooling for a GTX 580? That is, of course, the question. But uh, the good thing is that you can reuse it on different models. Uh, Especially if you're getting an 8800 series, I think the the Accelero Hybrid will be compatible with that, at least according to Arctic's website, or even if you're just upgrading, maybe you have a GTX 560 right now, you want to upgrade to a 580 later on, the Arctic Accelero Hybrid VGA cooler will still be compatible. And with that said, uh, installation was good. It wasn't thoroughly difficult because of the manual. It was very detailed, very helpful, and... Uh, it wasn't confusing to follow, unlike other manuals. Plus, the uh, the multiple parts was not was the only thing that really confused. That will probably confuse people. Other than that, you won't require every single item that they've included. These are just uh, to open up the flexibility of the Accelero Hybrid. You'll basically just use about one third of them uh, on your on your video card specific video card. So the installation was pretty straightforward after uh, identifying all the parts that you need to use. And the performance is also very quiet, especially the PLVM fan, the F12 fan that you put in onto the radiator if you don't uh, put it, uh, if you don't run it uh, without a smart fan. It, it's still quiet, although it's running, of course, it's going to be audible, but it's still quieter than most case fans. And uh, what rating I would, would I give the Accelero Hybrid? Unfortunately, the price is really a huge sticking point and the, the temperature difference of a 20 degree difference is It's good, but I don't think it is $180 good. So I would give this a silver award It still does the job. It does the job very well, but really it is the price They they do have a reason because there's it's virtually uh, Alone in the market. There's virtually no competition for the Accelero hybrid right now for video cards especially this with this much flexibility Okay, there you have so, it. Uh, this is Ron from High Tech Legion. Uh, just subscribe to our YouTube channel. Thumbs up this video if you like it. And uh, also check us out at Facebook, facebook.com slash HDL reviews. Leave questions or comments. And click click on the uh, link below. You get the full review. And also I have a link down there for the installation video. It is a bit long since it is a, uh, I, I show you how to disassemble the vineyard card first and then put it on again. So it's about 26 minutes long. So this is only if you're really, really interested. And again, this is Ron signing out. And thanks for watching.